right, crash investigators are trying to work out what caused a train derailment in Victoria, which killed two people. As Andrea Crothers reports, safety concerns were raised a week ago regarding the stretch of track where the accident happened. Victoria's Transport Minister confirmed maintenance was due to start on this stretch of rail. It comes as Victoria's train union says V-Line drivers had refused to travel along the corridor, raising safety concerns as they awaited maintenance. But V-Line CEO says he wasn't aware of any drivers refusing to work along this stretch. The Deputy Prime Minister saying no rail would be operating if it wasn't safe. Engineering scopes and safety inspections are conducted on tracks, uh, whether they're state-run tracks, whether they are ARTC tracks. Uh, that happens all the time, so that uh, uh, public safety... Uh, passenger safety is first and foremost. That's always the case. Investigators from the Australian Transport Safety Bureau and Australian Rail Track Corporation will be assessing whether speed was a factor. The train was running two hours behind time when it derailed. Passengers say they heard the driver announce on the train's PA system that he'd try to make up time moments before the 153 passengers and five crew went flying. Things like the speed limit uh, will all be uh, examined, uh, uh, all the evidence will be gathered and examined over the next week or so. So I know everyone wants answers now, but uh, really we're just beginning our work this morning. Two people were killed in the horror crash. The 54-year-old driver from the Australian Capital Territory and his co-driver, 49-year-old from country Victoria. Eleven people were taken to hospital with minor injuries after being rescued from the wreckage. Police say given the extent of the damage, it's a miracle more weren't killed. As authorities search for answers, V-Line says that the track could be closed for days.